What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, um, I hate to give this guy any shine, but Gilbert Arena said something about uh, Cribdul Jabbar in a hypothetical matchup versus Shaq that I found extremely hypocritical of him. All right? So I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. He said that basically that Shaq would ragdoll Kareem. Um, if Shaq played against Kareem, that's a Chihuahua versus a pit bull. We know Kareem could do nothing with Shaquille O'Neal. It's 310 versus 2-something. It's barbecue meat. Now, I find this, I find something pretty interesting here. I find it interesting that for a guy that's always talking about the 90s was no skills, um, just physicality, nobody could shoot, nobody had any skills, etc., 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 right? I find it interesting that he has this love fest for Shaq who was, compared to Kareem, a lot less skilled of a basketball player. But yet, in that instance, Shaq versus Kareem, oh, you, you're going with the physicality. The physicality is just going to be too much for Kareem, the skilled guy. But on the perimeter, when we say that if you take guys who are skilled players today and put them in a league that's more physical, Suddenly, that that don't make that that doesn't matter, but it does matter with Shaq in the post. Well, I will say this: I'm going to be fair in this in this one because Kareem did have problems against physical players. He did. Um, <clears throat> he had some trouble against Will Chamberlain, but of course, by that time, Will Chamberlain was on the downside of his career, and this was when he was basically on one leg. Um, but he had some problems with, with Will. But he really had problems against two bulldogs of, of centers, Artis Gilmore and Moses Malone. And we know how much he struggled against Moses Malone in the 1983 NBA Finals. So I'm not going to sit here and say that Gilbert Arenas doesn't have a bit of a point here from a historical standpoint. However, Shaq is not going to stop Kareem either. He's not. Um, no matter how much you want to talk about sheer size, and yes, Shaq is far stronger than Kareem. Bigger mass size, right? But let's not forget that Kareem is seven foot two and barefoot, seven foot three in shoes. All right, let's not forget that. Shaq is like six eleven and a half. So the height advantage goes to Kareem. The reach advantage goes to Kareem. So what I'm getting at is. Being that Shaq was never the greatest defender in the world, not terrible, but not an all-world defender either, I don't really see him stopping Kareem. Kareem going to skyhook his ass to death. So, no, Shaq ain't going to be stopped by Kareem. But then again, Kareem not going to stop Shaq. And, you know, Kareem wasn't always the same size his entire career. When he got to, when he was drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks in 1969, he was about 225 pounds. When he was in college, he was two, you know, 215 to 225, right? But during his career, he slowly got bigger and stronger. The centers got bigger and stronger as, as his career went on, and therefore he had to get bigger and stronger. But in the 1980s, Kareem was about 250. And toward the end of his career, he got as high as 265. So let's just go with 250, all right? 
So that by 1980, he was about 250. That's the same weight as a guy like Patrick Ewing. That's the same weight as a guy like David Robinson. And Akeem Olajuwon was 255. Smaller than Kareem, right? 6'10", 254, 6'10 and a half, 255. And shoes, they, they rounded him up to seven feet tall. But you know, the year that he outplayed Shaq in the finals, if you recall, he actually had lost 20 pounds due to, what was it, uh, dieting, Ramadan. Um, he, he had been fasting, and he, he, he dropped from 255 to 235. If you look at, if you look at Elijah Warren in 95 playoffs, he's very skinny. So a guy that's 235, maybe 240. Outplayed Shaq viciously. The Kimmy Mutombo was a is a great defender. What was he? Two fifty five, two sixty. So, I mean, and, and then Ben Wallace outplayed Shaq, and Ben Wallace is what six seven. In reality, they list him as six nine. So, Gilbert Arenas, please shut the fuck up, okay? You, you're such a hypocrite, man. You're so easy to beat, beat and defunk and debunk when it comes to your 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 assertions, man. It's just it's really obvious that you have a problem with uh, people like Dreamers Pro and myself and others who uh, cherish the basketball in the 90s and 2000s, so you become a professional troll to crap on players either from that era or what you do is you crap on players from the past, like the, the greats. And you have these outlandish takes. But you know what's, what's so sad is that that's what that's what basketball is about now. That's what sports is becoming. It's not about real, actual, intellectual basketball conversations or sports conversations, serious sports talk. It's about stupid fucking takes and going viral. That's what's happened. You know, it, 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 it's it's ridiculous, and I and I loathe this trend, but it gets rewarded. It does. It does get rewarded, and it's, and it's ridiculous. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Oh, by the by, one other thing I want to mention. If you're talking about in a game, yeah, Shaq's physicality would be a, 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 a problem with, for Kareem. I'm not going to sit there and act like it was not the case. But there's one weakness with Shaq carrying around all that bulk. And by the way, Shaq got his biggest 400 pounds during his later years with Lakers. He only played 40 minutes a minute, uh, 40 minutes per game one season. And he said that year damn near killed him, right? Let's look at this. Let's go to Shaq. Let's go to Shaquille O'Neal. Let's check something out here. I believe Shaq had one season with the Lakers, I think it was, when he averaged over 40 minutes per game. It was 99-2000. He played 40 minutes per game in the MVP year. And he said that that season really took it took a lot out of him to play that many minutes. For his career, he averaged thirty four point seven minutes per game. Kareem had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven consecutive seasons playing forty minutes or more. And for his career, he averaged about 36.8 minutes per game. And as a matter of fact, for the first seven years of, of his career, <clears throat> before the Lakers got so deep they could get some more rest, he averaged 42.5 minutes per game for his career. So what I'm getting at is the endurance aspect of, of, of a series, having to go up and down the court, up and down, fast break, because Kareem worked himself into a, a condition 
where he could play in Showtime. He could play within the within the uh, uh, the confines of Showtime basketball. That's how good in shape Kareem got. Do we really think that Shaquille O'Neal, the Lakers version, weighing 400 pounds, could carry his big ass up and down the court and play that type of style? No. So anyway, that's all I got to say about it. Tell me what you guys think. Not me this time, but that's all I got to say.